And tonight we know more about the moments leading up to the deaths of these two prison employees, Lorena Schulte and Robert McFarland. Danny Homan, president of the union representing Anamosa employees, giving us some new details today about another prison employee held hostage during the same attack. The dental hygienist tried to help McFarland and Schulte, but instead Homan says the inmates took the woman hostage and said they'd kill her if she helped them. The union president says this attack was preventable. Local 5's Rachel Droz explains why. Two people were murdered inside a maximum security prison. Does not speak well for the Department of Corrections. Union President Danny Homan says Iowa prisons are understaffed and says he's been saying that for years. Many of you standing out here have heard me say this, that if staffing inside the Department of Corrections or the state in general does not get better, someone is going to die. Two weeks ago, unfortunately, that prediction came true. Homan is demanding Republicans in the legislature and Governor Kim Reynolds act now. He wants them to approve more funding for the Department of Corrections and launch an external investigation. So attacks like the one that left Lorena Schulte and Robert McFarland dead never happen again. This attack should have never happened. Homan has support from the top Democrats in both the House and Senate. What we saw at Anamosa in March was that Republican underfunding of our justice system has had deadly consequences. It's unfortunate that it takes a tragedy like this to start this conversation and to spur action. Homan says he has yet to hear back from Republicans. Rachel Droz, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. And House Republicans today proposing the largest funding increase for the Department of Corrections in almost a decade. They want to increase the department's budget by $20 million, the largest single year increase since 2012. During a press conference today, Speaker Pat Grassley says this has been a priority for his party since before the 2020 election, and it's something they hope to deliver. Grassley said that during an impromptu press conference held this afternoon, our crew didn't make it there given the short notice, but we did ask for an interview. At this time, they have not agreed to one.